Welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know, just randomly decided to click on my video. Welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction and we're diving back into the love you give me. We're diving into episode 13. And I think as of the end of this episode, we'll be halfway through the series. I believe it's 26 episodes. Um, the last three or so episodes have been just pleasant. They've been so delightful, so happy, just nice chemistry, nice development between the characters and just nice interactions all around. And it makes me happy because I, I, I like a nice, good, feel good show, especially with some of the other shows that I watch. But I also am a little nervous because I keep waiting for the other shooter drop because I'm like, y'all, we still got like 13 something episodes left. It can't just be smooth sailing for the next 13 episodes. If watching series has showed me anything, it can't be. Some kind of drama has got to erupt somewhere, somewhere along the line. So maybe this is going to be the episode that's going to happen. Maybe not. Don't know. We're just going to dive in and find out. All right, so how many times throughout that episode did I utter the words, it's adorable, it's so sweet? I don't know, probably like 800. It's a good thing this was not a drinking game and that wasn't one of the triggers because y'all would be wasted. If not, just have a complete liver shut down at this point from as many times as I said it. But Lord, there were so many moments that were just so sweet, so sweet. Um, yes, we got a little bit of misunderstanding there towards the end which is unfortunate and I'll talk about it in a minute, but it was so damn sweet. Again, at first I thought this was gonna be another episode that was just gonna be nothing but pure sugary sweetness. And I'm like, you know what? I'm here for it. Um, between um, Miss Cow and, is it Jujun, I think? Um, and his whole proposal to be his girlfriend with the synchronized swimming, it was adorable. and. We even had that moment afterward where he's like, you know, I, I took, I was always really good at swimming, so I took some synchronized swimming lessons, and you know, it was supposed to be super romantic, but it only ended off coming as funny. And I'm like, listen, sometimes in these situations, it's not necessarily the outcome that matters, as it is just the thought behind it, the effort put in behind it. It's like when a kid, like if you have a kid, or you're just around a child in some fashion and you're cooking or you're baking or something and they want to decorate the cake or blah 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 so you you give them their own little side project okay here you can decorate this one and i'm gonna decorate all this stuff over here and they're like look look what i did and it is it looks a hot ass horror movie mess but they put so much effort into it it's still just the sweetest thing you can't help but smile and tell them they did such a good job and you know pat them on the head or give them a hug or whatever it is because it's not necessarily the outcome of what they did as it is just how much effort and love they put into what they did so that whole be my girlfriend proposal was an equivalent of that for me where it's like yes the synchronized synchronizing swimming may not have been as perfect as he had envisioned it in his head he he was flopping around in that pool doing all kinds of stuff and yes it came off somewhat comical but you could see that he genuinely put in so much effort and he wanted to make this special especially coming off last episode where she was getting mad every five seconds because somebody else was getting proposed to in public and she's like how could you not do something special for me on this day that you had no idea i wanted you to do something special for me um so it's the fact that he put in so much effort and he tried so hard and you could see that his heart was in a good place. And yes, she laughed because it made her smile, but it's just that effort that really will mean a lot to most people. So I love that. I love that we had that little moment of, you know, reflection afterward and it was adorable. Um, then we had our family unit again, Jin Si, Min Hui, and Chen Chen at the restaurant and it was adorable. Jin Si got her the lipstick that he went to the makeup, makeup store, brought his old shirt. He's like, hey, um, y'all got this color? Granted, 
that was a one moment sort of mm, oh no I bumped into your shirt thing and it it came off very light in comparison to like what the lipstick color actually was it came off very light on the shirt and the shirt has been who knows it's been on that shirt for God knows how many weeks, months at this point in time. So it's probably faded a little bit too. So whatever, they were able to color match that like a dream and just be like, oh yeah, I got this. And so he got her whatever industrial set of lipstick. Um, and it was sweet. And even when Chin Chin ran off, which again, that's something that I don't have a child, but I know that they can be fast. They can be fast fast and they will they mean absolutely zero harm out of what they're trying to do as we saw he wasn't trying to upset her and you would think that he would be because he's been shown to be a very intelligent child throughout this entire series so you would think he would be you know smart enough to like realize hey maybe this isn't a good idea maybe my mom will worry about me but at the end of the day we also have to remember He's a five-year-old kid. Yes, he is very, very smart, but he's still a five-year-old kid. And his mentality, his thought process at that point is, hey, daddy got her a gift. I want to get her a gift too. Because if that ain't a child, I don't know what is. They said, hey, this person did this thing. I want to do this thing too. This person gave daddy, my big sister gave mommy a gift. Well, I want to give her a gift too, because I love her. Daddy gave mommy a gift. I want to give mommy a gift too. So I'm going to go get her a gift. Okay. It was just the most innocent suite of intentions, but it caused quite a scare. Thankfully, Minwei was smart enough and he is smart enough as well to memorize the numbers, but she was smart enough to have that be something t he learned. Like, hey, make sure you memorize this number. Make, make sure you memorize my phone number in case anything happens. So thankfully, that's a precaution that she took and he acted, I guess, when he got caught trying to take the dress out of the store without any money. Um, Maybe he didn't try and take it. Maybe he took it to the register and he's like, oh, I don't have anything to pay for this. Um, can you call my mommy? <laughs> Maybe it was something along those lines. Either way, that saleswoman did not look happy in the least. She seemed totally unbothered by this touching family moment. She's like, I ain't got time for this. Y'all gonna give me some money for this dress or not? But yes, it was, it was a sweet, frightening moment because I can only imagine what it would be like to have your child there one moment and then just have them vanish in the blink of an eye because it literally was such a quick moment it, that feels so realistic because literally he was right there the camera zooms in on her while she's on her phone call her little 10 second phone call 15 seconds like oh i didn't send you that file Ugh, okay i'll send you the file do, 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 do. jean c comes out hey where's jen chen she's like he's right here it's like shit like literally it was lightning fast and that's how it is sometimes kids just scamper off what and you, you just got to keep your eye on them. that's why some people just put a leash on them like all right i get to, you, you can't get away from me now um so thankfully we found him and we didn't it could have been much worse it could have been much worse but again the intent behind why he ran off super duper sweet and they had another sweet bonding moment there after they got home tucks them in, tucked him in the bed and she's like you know what you've brought so many You've given him that feeling of a complete family, so thank you, thank you. Maybe we can put the past behind us and try to just raise him together as a family. And it was almost like we were solidifying, hey, I kind of might have some sort of feelings, and I feel like you might have some sort of feelings, and things are just kind of feeling right right now. So what if we just forget the past and try again? That's kind of where I felt the energy going. And... I think that was a intentional contrast to what was coming up later in the episode um, because she it seems as though she finally let that barrier down and then to come into his office and see that paperwork there it's like oh god so now it feels like the ultimate betrayal like I can't believe I actually let myself believe the things he was telling me like she had her guard up for the first half many episodes when he came back into the picture and now it's probably like I can't believe I actually let him in i can't believe i believed what he was saying i let him spend this time with my son i can't believe this night the other just so he can come and try and take away my son after all these years i can't believe he's still trying to enact this plan of vengeance on me because of things that happened five years ago blah blah blah, blah. and she's spinning whatever narrative in her head which i'm like again i get it it i 
if I were in those shoes and I saw that, I probably would jump to that same conclusion because it makes sense. Even though my heart's kind of telling me, hey, we've had these great family moments and he's not that great an actor. So <laughs> I don't think that he, he would have been putting on the show at least these last couple of weeks, but who knows? Again, sometimes anger blinds you to the truth that might be right in front of your eyes. So it's unfortunate. I wish that Jin C were just better at explaining himself. But I feel like I could, I've said that in so many other series where it's like, okay, you want to explain yourself. You're like, hey, please listen to me. Please listen to me. And then the person's like, okay, fine, go ahead, explain yourself. And then they sit there for two and a half minutes saying none of the words that need to be said to explain the situation. I'm like, y'all, they are giving you the opportunity to explain what happened and you are saying every other part of the story except for the one key part of the story that needs to be said to clear this entire mess up. So he's like, it wasn't my idea. I'm like, yes, let's go with that plot line. Let's, let's go there. It wasn't my idea. Whose idea was it? Let's let, let's talk about that. Nope, we're just gonna I'm like, oh Gene C. It's not that hard. It is not that difficult to say, hey, I did not do this. The chairwoman, who's mother, adoptive like I obviously he he said a number of times his parents left him, blah blah blah, and he went through the foster system. Um, so adoptive parents i'm trying to f figure out why this chairwoman would care so much about him like er earlier episodes she kept s sending hardy to um set him up on these blind dates and constantly sending him to the hospital to um check on his health this that the other and now he's got this son and he's like okay well he's she's he's fond of him so let's sue for custody blah 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 like very involved in his everyday life as almost a overbearing parent would be um, so I keep getting vi overbearing, adoptive, rich parent, um, from this chairwoman, but I don't, I don't really know for certain, but I don't know why it, it's so difficult to be like, Hey, I didn't do this. She did this. She told Hardy to go right, ask Hardy. She, the, the, here is what happened. Granted, even if he did get those words out, I don't know if that Min Hui would have believed him at that moment because she was so upset and blinded by anger. But still, the fact that he could say none of those words makes it so frustrating and makes her, it just reinforces whatever thoughts she's got going on in her head. So I'm like, oh, baby, 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 baby. So I don't know how long this confusion or miscommunication between the two of them is going to last. I don't force the way some of these other issues have been resolved in this series. I don't foresee it lasting more than maybe like another episode or two. Um, but who knows? Maybe it will. Um, the friendship between Chen Chen and Hardy is something my heart didn't know it needed until it got it a couple episodes ago. And now I'm just, it is just the most precious thing in the world. And I love, 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 love them. I'm upset that he could just walk up into this kindergarten and take this student like, hey, granted, I'm sure Chen Chen was like, oh, hey, Hardy, blah, blah, blah. And the teacher's like, okay, you know him. But I'm like, still, that's all it takes. Just the child knows him. No signing out. No checking the driver's license. No, hey, maybe I should call your parents to make verify that this random man is coming to pick you. No, just, just come in the middle of the school day and take him out for ice cream and bring him back to school. That's Okay, I guess. Um, but yes, the friendship, the relationship between the two of them. You could even see um, before that happened when um, Jin Si was telling Hardy that Min Hui was not going to let him see Chen Chen anymore. He's like, what? I don't get to see him anymore? Oh, I'm going to miss him so much. Like he genuinely seemed so sad by the prospect that he was not going to get to spend time with this little boy. And I'm like, it is the sweetest little friendship and I love it. I need more of it in my life. Um, yeah, so all in all, it was a sweet episode with some miscommunication there towards the end to give us some form of drama. So it's not just sugar on top of sugar on top of sugar episode after episode after episode. So we got some sort of misunderstanding drama happening here. Um, but yeah, mostly sweetness. 
love, absolutely love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Mwah. Time we had